There we go. Well, how you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? Oh, boy. Very good. I look for you. I look for you. I'm, there. I'm very thankful that Dustin saved Dusty. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Talk of the talk of the wrestling world. Boy. I know, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make you talk to the world. And I, lo I love how nobody's taking my. I have very few people are taking my side on the matter as well. So yeah, they, yeah, they, they think we were wrong. Yeah, they think we're in the wrong. Yeah, they they think we jumped John Schuyler. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got a lot to talk about, boy. I, I just found out the suspension. When was that levied? Uh, a few hours ago. A few hours ago. Oh, you know me personally in my own little world, I'm waiting for either uh, Dirty Yellow Dog or Stagger Lee, maybe. I'm not saying it. I'm not. Or, or maybe you just wait for me to take my suspension because I could use a day off. <laughs> could use a day off. I'm oh, a yeah. I gotta say, <laughs> Congratulations, oh, yeah. you give me a day off. Yeah, I, I, gotta, talk, I gotta talk to PFBX official. Oh, I, think, I don't think we punished him. Yeah. I think we, I think we rewarded did him. him. You rewarded him. I think we did him. Oh, gosh, yes. Boy, <laughs> no, if we wanted to punish you, just. Let you keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, back part again. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. You know, you hear the claps, you know what time it is. George, how's your weekend? I, I quit the claps a little too early, hey, boy. You gotta keep I'm the blowed rhythm. up. I'm blowed up from clapping. Uh, but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition. I'm not even sure how many episodes. I know we, we're, we're, we're rolling along along. I'm not sure how many We're getting episodes. close to 200. We're, we're getting know. very close. That will be a very, very monumental moment uh, when it does come. Uh, or we may just be like. Uh, 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 that football player that uh, uh, old for the Houston Texans that's thinking about retiring. He's only played three or four years. We may quit at 199, but no, uh, stay tuned. But anyway, but I wouldn't have no life if we do that, Bullet. Yeah, so exactly. uh, anyway, folks, welcome to the show. What a great, great week we've had, Bullet. Just some un unbelievable news coming on in the wrestling world as we discussed a little bit earlier before the show. Uh, big PWF news coming down. Can we reveal it yet? I don't know about the big uh, suspension. Yeah, uh, yeah it's out there. Up. It's I'm all up. over. I've, my, my phone's actually been blowing up. I've had, uh, I've had my comedian friends ask me if I was okay. <laughs> I, I, I had so is it is it is it early enough or it's it's too early for me to start a GoFund account to support Bullet Jake Man? It's never uh, too no. early to okay. support a GoFund account. Uh, right? But uh, which you made a very very good point for PWF officials that if we wanted to punish you. Uh, I don't think giving you a day off was the way to do it. No. So uh, right. I can see a picture now of you and this bullet from the beach saying thank you for the suspension. But uh, anyway, uh, but I, in my own little creative storyline, I am waiting for maybe even uh, uh, the Boogeyman Jam uh, downtown Charlie Brown. Maybe even to make an appearance. I'm not sure. Uh, or Midnight Rider. Oh, what a storyline. And you win the PWX belt, but then you have to decide between. The, uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm giving it you all. Already, you, you, you already messed up. You <laughs> winning a match? Get out of here. <laughs> but anyway, it was so Sorry much for going on. as it is. Yellow, yellow dog, I was on, <laughs> on board with you, but you went on a match? Get out of here. Because uh, you've got to get a new outfit and everything. So what the heck, boy? Oh, that's it. Uh, anyway, a lot of stuff going on. Thank everybody this past week for coming to the huge, huge event in Gastonia, North Carolina. Of course, at Forest View High School. Uh, just a tremendous show there for the Gastonia Police. Uh, of course, got to see Ron Simmons and just what a you know what a great guy and he just spent so much time with a lot of the young guys, up and coming guys, stuff like that and uh, just a great great night. They raised some money, a lot of money for the kids. Uh, I was one of the last two in the battle roll. Of course, I've got to eliminate. I love battle rolls. I have no problem with that. I can get to my table earlier. It was a little different. It went it went better than I thought it would. The battle roll was actually the first show, the first match on the show, which was kind of a little bit different, but I was always glad uh, mm -hmm. of that. So anyway, just thank everybody, the guests on please, just some of our uh, uh, best, best friends, uh, just thank them. And also, of course, the huge event. Folks, you gotta check it out. PWX this past Sunday, uh, here in Charlotte, North Carolina, a lot of stuff going on. You really do need to buckle up uh, when PWX is in town, because just uh, a lot of stuff The the, and I don't even know, it, well, I can say this too, uh, uh, the turn, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of friendships being broken mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, with that. Uh, a lot of sons turning on their uh, fathers, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, Dustin having to come to save his father. Yeah. So uh, just a lot of stuff going on, uh, boy. So right, I, I, just, we didn't relive the whole uh, Dusty saving Dustin and crying on the ground after uh, <laughs> uh, Million Dollar Man hit like, Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't relive yeah. that. Uh, they, maybe next time. Well, they were going to put there because they wanted to like stage me at ringside, but I was already at ringside yeah, trying exactly. to sell a book, so that kind of killed that whole thing. But uh, just it was just great. Uh, no, I don't think nobody there expected that little thing there. Of course, with John Schuyler, and then you come to make the say. I just thought it was very, very good. Mm -hmm. Of course, nobody expected later on the big suspension, and we'll wait to see how all of that uh, unfolds. 
else. Exactly. So, uh, just a lot of stuff going on, but uh, boy, uh, I want to thank everybody. I've just got a brand new case of Dad, You Don't Work Your Wrestle in the mail today, and just a lot of stuff going on. I have spoke to uh, my editor, Mark James, several times over the last few weeks, and it's just kind of neat to work. I have no idea, Bullet, uh, uh, how many books of these we've sold. I just know we did very good, and I just want to personally here thank all the fans that just, uh, you know, even my daughter, one of my twins, Abigail, looked at it and said, you still, I can't believe you're still selling that thing. So I don't know if that's good or bad compliment coming from them, but uh, it, anyway, I just thank everybody, Bullet, for still uh, discovering that great, uh, the second greatest book ever written. So, yeah, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on this week. Of course, Friday, I want to put a quick plug in uh, for Friday night. We'll be back at the old Mooresboro Gym up there. My good buddy, uh, Josh Steinborn's running the show. He always does a fundraiser like we like for the ball teams or something like that. So, anyway, uh, I will be there Friday. And, of course, Saturday, the huge, huge AML show uh, in Winston-Salem. My good friend, our good friend, the Russian bear, uh, Ivan Koloff will be there making an appearance. So uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on, Bullet, a lot of uh, comedian opportunity. Uh, my favorite part of your your uh, Gray Dick Slater-ish Florida interview from the ring okay. was letting people, and, and I got it, is, is just, uh, uh, you're not here to tell jokes. Yeah. You're here to be serious. They want, But you put that quick plug in, and they want it. But I haven't quit telling jokes. If you want to come and hear me tell, tell jokes, jokes, I'll be at a comedy show. <laughs> Just up the street at 7 o'clock, which it was, <laughs> which it is. Oh, that's very good. Use it use it while you got the crowd there. Yeah, well, I think so. it might as well, maybe it gets some crossover, so. <laughs> no, I, I caught it right on to that. I thought that was very, very good. So, uh, anything, a lot of stuff going yeah. on with you this this uh, this weekend? Uh, oh, uh, Northeast Wrestling oh, this yeah. Saturday and then the Poconos Mountains of Pennsylvania. I will be there. Uh, I'm recording a lot of podcasts this week, so I'm not doing as much comedy, but uh Coming up, I will be making trips to Atlanta, uh, hopefully Winston-Salem. Got, got to nail that down a little bit better. Um, and also a couple other shows at the Comedy Zone coming up the next uh, next week and the week after that. So actually next Tuesday, I'll be performing for a night of 500 uh, laughs. And also I'm required to produce a certain amount of laughs for my set. Oh. We'll see what happens. Uh, oh, that may or may not happen. Now, oh, there is pressure. Oh, I may be the guy that brings oh. down the average. So it might turn out to be night of 485 laughs because of me. So, uh, But I will try my best to keep my laughs So, so this ain't one of those where just tell a joke and hope for a few chuckles. I mean, we got to have them. That was, have. that was Sunday night. So, <laughs> and it might be about an hour from now. So. Uh, and also, is Greenville on the schedule anymore? But going back to Greenville, South Carolina, that was a pretty good deal. No, right, no, I know. So, right? I need, was, I need, I need to follow good. up with that a little bit more. But uh, I'd love to go back down to Greenville. I saw some people that I met last time I was in Greenville. Oh, wow. And it was very, very nice to see them again. It's, it's nice getting to, like, I've been hanging out uh, a lot more uh, with, with comedians and stuff like that. And I've, you know, figured out how to sneak into the back of the comedy <laughs> oh, oh, zone. Oh, oh, oh. Saw a couple shows. I saw, saw, oh, it was very short <laughs> time. <laughs> Uh, Just blend right in. So I saw the Sklar brothers this past Saturday. I saw Kevin Smith last night. Yes. He yeah. was there for, did two shows. Both of them sold out. Wow. Sold out. I had Q&A. That one. He talked for, till 1.30 at night. Right? Wow. Like he had his, the late show started late, an hour late, because they took, he ran over by about 45 minutes on the first show. Wow. They had to clear the room, and then he was up, he stayed till like 1.30 at night. So wow. He put he put wow. in some extra time. So. No, I had a couple of buddies that actually went went, went to that one. Too. Oh, so, so they, so uh, matter of fact, one of them who's the biggest like Monday Night Raw fan in the world actually said for Kevin Kevin Smith, right? He yeah. said he would actually. Uh, and I knew it. Was, I know it was a big deal Kevin Smith being here if he did not watch Raw. He yeah. says the only thing that would make me miss Raw is. Course, yeah, so anyway, a lot, uh, lot of stuff going on, Bullet. Uh, two, uh, if you don't mind, we will grab our special, special bag. Which, which uh, let me let me pile under before uh, about last week. Uh, you know, I have to agree with you a little bit with keeping Bruce in here for right now, yeah. because literally the next day after we, we released our episode, I uh, saw so Louis C.K. did a show to benefit uh, Equality NC. So that seems like a far better <laughs> option to run a show. To benefit uh, the yes. legal fees and everything else, so people got paid. The lighting crew got oh, paid. Oh, oh. And now, granted, so. Louis C.K. brings far less people, like he has like, <laughs> far less roadies than Bruce Springsteen. But uh, I love that. seems like Louis C.K. had a better idea oh, on how oh, to handle that. that situation. I love that, Bullet. Thank you. And, and that's all we're here is to educate you and maybe just get the ball rolling. And, and we don't really take sides. We just bring it out to your attention and letting you people, you know, make decisions for yourself. But we, there's always a way to keep money. We're, we're, that's we're, our, that's we're, our we're just trying to stick out for the lighting guys, yeah, yeah. the rig guys. Like I said, there's far, like, 
There might have been a microphone guy that yeah, brought a microphone that's out exactly for Louis right. CK, but like at least he got paid. That's exactly somebody had to plug that mic, or even we think of the key, the the, the, the not the keyboard, but the the, the slider, the, the audio yeah, mixer. Yes, the somebody, had, somebody had to man that, so somebody made a little bit of money that and, night, and, they and money was made for Equality that's NC, exactly right. which is a, which is actually a charity that I've done comedy for myself. So me and Louis CK so, working for the same people. Hey, so, what can I say? That, so 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 the mar the mar the, the the motto of this story is there is a way to keep your people's money. That's that's what we all can agree on, yeah. Bullet, without just like giving it back. You know, I've been joking all day about Instead the, of it disappearing, it can go oh, somewhere. Oh, yes, exactly, exactly. That's the uh, thing. I mean, even the poor guy with the glow sticks is just trying to uh, uh, sell a glow you stick. You can take your uh, cut and then send it to somebody else. <laughs> that's exactly right. So that, That's exactly right. Good point. So with here, of course, uh, right on the same lines, of course, everybody knows this one is just one for the ages here. Of course, everyone knows that Terry Funk came to town uh, last weekend, two big days here. Ashboro, which is 40 minutes from the town Saturday. Of course, Saturday they had the huge, huge, uh, uh, that afternoon, the big training seminar at the National Guard Army in Moxville. Well, my two contestants, well, the, the participants for this idiot bag will be two individuals bullet that actually drove, and I documented all this today to make sure that I got the, my, my stuff in order. They Taking actually, the facts. facts here, Jack, not just something I usually throw out there and hope that later on it comes true. Uh, these two guys drove three uh, over three hours uh, Saturday morning to the training seminar. Now, getting there, of course, the Army Sergeant, which I saw firsthand, he was 40 minutes late, which you can't control that. The Sergeant's going to get there when he gets there. I mean, yeah. he may, uh, uh, but anyway, so he unlocked whatever. So, anyway, these two individuals, if you can believe this, I'm throwing them in the idiot bag. They actually drove three and a half hours here. They waited 30 minutes, then turned around without any notifying anything and drove all the way back home because they thought. The event was canceled. Now, Bullet, I put them in any back for one reason and one, well, a bunch of reasons, but one reason really sticks out. They did not, in this internet, phone, everything, age, they did not ask anybody. Now, they say they tried to call the, uh, uh, text the promoter. I don't know. Personally, I'd at least stayed in Moxville another two hours eating barbecue, is what I'm saying, yeah. and then went by, by the uh, back by the building. But the biggest thing, the reason these two contestants are going in the idiot bag, Bullet, Everywhere, because I know I posted them Friday night. Terry Funk was in town Friday, okay? So possibly now, I'm not a smart man, but possibly if Terry Funk was in town on Friday, he's probably going to make the 40-mile trip uh, the next morning. Yeah. So uh, anyway, they turned around, drove back home, and I even heard today that one of the contestants who had signed up for the seminar wants his money back because he missed the seminar. So anyway, but all I... My question that nobody can seem to answer me is, even if he couldn't have got a hold of the people at the show, if you'd have just asked one question on Facebook, is the Terry Funk Seminar happening? I promise you, because you know people, there's people like me that don't have a life that are just waiting to comment on something. Or, or there's obsessive people like myself that can't stand a red bubble <laughs> standing over an icon on a, on a smartphone. There's people <laughs> like that in this world that like to keep the entire thing clear with no red. <laughs> I don't even keep the Netflix app on my front page. I don't want to see any red when I look on my phone. So, so why? And, and, and they're not saying, I mean, it's over with now, whatever. But, of course, we had a great, great seminar. Terry, over three hours of training. But those guys turned around and drove all the way. We're not talking about from Belmont to Charlotte, 30 miles. We're talking about they turned around and drove three and a half hours all the way back home and claimed to this day that the seminar didn't take place. So, anyway. I don't know why in this internet age, you don't even have to go to the library and get on a computer like I do with your phone. You can't tell me, here's my question, we're done, Bullet. Uh, the drive back, three hour drive back home, they had to get on their phone. They had to. And, and Oh, I, I wasn't even, I wasn't even near where this was. <laughs> and I saw it on my Facebook, like literally like 15 minutes after it started. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I didn't even know I was friends with anybody that was there. <laughs> That's exactly right. And, you know, so, so I know. The never-ending story, they went home, missed the whole seminar, missed Terry Funk. He may never ever be back here. I don't know why. You think they're going to, like, watch it on Ustream, basically. Because I think it was, like, <laughs> streamed on Periscope. So they could have been watching it. I think it, it was on Internet pay-per-view. Yeah, uh, watching oh, it on their phone while they drive back home. So... <laughs> 
Yeah, it, yeah. it wasn't a total, yeah, oh, I love that. It wasn't a total loss. You could have actually got some of the seminar on the way back home on your phone. Between everybody's Bullet. pictures and everybody's filming <laughs> it, you could have got the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, so uh, thank you. That's just great, Bullet. Anyway, so, but what you will not miss, whether you've got a flip phone or iPhone or even a dumb phone like I do, what you won't miss and has Terry Funk's blessing is the second greatest book of all time, which is not quite streaming yet, <laughs> but will be sometime soon. Hopefully, read, tired, Lucy, hopefully it's read by George South, because that's the only way to read the second greatest book of all time, which is available at highspots.com. If you want to know more about what I'm doing this weekend, since I'm suspended on a regular basis, uh, please follow me on Twitter at Manscout Manning and on Instagram at Manscout Manning. This has been another edition you, of boy. Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. Oh, but we should take work. Remember when the, the football players won the Super Bowl and they say they're going on, uh, they're going to Walt Disney World. The minute you got suspended, they should have uh, said, uh, yeah. uh, "Bully Jack, mascot Jack Manning, what, what, where are you going?" And you should, have, you know, <laughs> right. yeah, you should look right in the camera and say, "Yeah, I'm going to Walt Disney World." If I had enough well, money to go to Disney World again. <laughs>